So it takes time. And we really teams. debated. You know, my staff wanted to go a little longer with him out, and I, I felt if I kept about any longer, he was never going to really get into the game. You know, and then so, but they were worried because we haven't started second half, and I don't know. I got to watch the film on some of those calls, but I, I thought it was pretty vertical. But Jackson, Jackson seems to give as much confidence, but you know, yeah. rebounding as I've seen from him. Before. Yeah, and, I mean. We are giving credit where it's, where it's due for all those guards and that, but don't think Jackson and, and Kohler didn't, I mean, and uh, Cooper didn't do some good things. Now, they, you know, there were some things they did that you know, aren't good, but there were some things they did that were good. They guarded pretty well. Uh, that's a load to guard. Uh, both those guys are pretty good putting the ball on the floor, and the guy that really played well for them was 23. I mean, he hurt us. We knew he drove right. I didn't think we did a very good job of that. So that must mean coaches didn't get it through to them very good. So we all can take a little blame second half. We all can take a little credit. You young guys all had grow up moments, I thought, that with Holloman, with Booker. I mean, you got something from everybody, even even Carr with those free throws. Damn right. Um, and, and like you say, Book did some great things. I mean, ran like a deer, did all those things. You know, still struggles on the ball screen stuff. And, uh, and that hurt us a little bit. But, uh, boy, when he ran that lane, you can see where – He's gonna be a hell of a player, you know. He's taking a little time, but uh, and I, I was happy uh, for Cohen, you know. He's been struggling so much from the line. He went and nailed both those those free throws, so that was encouraging. And Holloman played very well. Yeah, yeah, younger guys did play well. All three of those guys. But it was what you said. If you need to be better, it's to be better. It's yeah, yeah. And and I've been saying that all year. I'm glad AJ said it like that. You know, that's the truth. I mean, I don't think all year. You're never going to get four when you play well together. But how about two, two and a half, you know? Three again, in big games, you're not going to win without them. And that includes too much. So with Hogard and Walker, you know it's there. You know it's oh, in yeah. there. The aggressiveness, yeah. it just needs to be coaxed out at times? or Yeah, you know, the, the new me of would you please do something better? It wasn't working. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you can ask them. I mean, that's the beauty of this whole thing. I... I we're frustrated at halftime because we weren't getting out of them what we needed to get. I mean, AJ had three turnovers that were, you know, a 97-year-old mother would have made. You know, they're just not good turnovers. And and uh, you don't get that to do that in games. And as the better the competition is, the less unforced errors you get to have. And uh, that doesn't take away anything. It wasn't even on drives or things like that. It was just, but to his credit, to his credit, he really stayed in the game, didn't get fresh, took a little, and and delivered. And for me, um, that's awesome. Do you think they play a little freer tomorrow, maybe? Now that Sunday might be a little less stressful? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, now that I guess it's never over till it's over, as we say, but was there pressure on? Um, it's not put on by me this time. You know, I, I really didn't. I said uh, I was prepared one way or another. Did I think we were in if we would have lost? I thought we had a good chance because of all the things that I hate but that everybody uses. But did I feel comfortable? No. And uh, But I didn't use that as there was no break in a 25-year thing or do that. There was never – that wasn't even mentioned. It was, let's go win a tournament, let's go win some games, let's get better. Because it doesn't matter if we don't get better, whether we get in or not. Get in and win a game, all it does is protect the record. It doesn't do anything for the program or for them. And that's the approach I took with them. And I, so I, I was pleased on how they handled it. And prepared. How, how much does two weeks ago help the next 20 hours for you guys? One, prep for, for you recently, and two, uh, had some pretty good success with getting the forcing yeah. him some missing shots. And yeah, we did, but he still what did he get thirty some. Yeah, they got they got the line so much. Yeah, well that's that's always going to happen. But um, you know, I think you know, I don't know if some of you remember a couple of years ago. I don't know if it was Edie or the guy before him when he had thirty, and my own fans were booing us because I wouldn't double him. Yeah. And uh, the guards got nothing, and he got thirty. We won. He got 34, I think, whoever it was. I think it might have been the guy before him, might have been a couple years ago. Well, that's what you do. You got to pick your poison, you know. But the difference with this team is it's so much better 
at each position, if you ask me. Smith has made a big, big difference. Lawyer comes in shooting 23 and 16 from the three in the five games previous. I don't know if he goes four for four, four for six. I mean, he just lit it up. Uh, Smith went, you know, between the two of them, they were eight for 10. And uh, so if that happens, we're in trouble. And then we kind of neutralized them and, and really had done a decent job on, on uh, Gillis. And then he hits those two late threes. One of them broke our back. You know, it was a three-point game. So um, they're good. I mean, they're the best team in the league. I think they're one of the best teams in the country, I think, because they're well coached and they have – um, versatility. They can beat you different ways. I mean, if Edie was out, are they the same team? No. But are they, uh, can they win without him playing great? I think they can because I think they got enough of their weapons. A lot of the guys, right, guys. Yep. Lot of guys were talking about the first game, how hard they played down there. Does that give you a little uh, encouragement that they sort of understand the level it's going to take? Yeah, I, I think they're going to have to play that and better yeah. because uh, now, you know, Purdue's playing for a lot too. I mean, one seed and this and that, which I think they already got, but whatever. But uh, um, yeah, we're going to have to play. We're not going to be able to turn the ball over. I, I say that. What do we have tonight? Nine? So we only had three second, second first half. half. Yeah. So, I mean, we've done a great job all year not turning the ball over. We said we had a rebound better in this game. They were one of the best offensive rebounding teams we played. And we did rebound better in this game. Um, we're going to have to rebound a lot better against Purdue. And. Uh, Man, it's it's great to be able to work tonight. It really is. I mean, it sounds crazy, but your defense was good when it had to be tonight too. Though. It was. Yeah. It was. You know, we had a little problem. Um, we had so many different post guys playing that you know we step up on those ball screens and we had a little problem. Guys stepped up at different levels. I thought they turned a the corner a couple times on us and hurt us. But it was just because new people in new positions, and that's not their fault. We just didn't get enough reps at it. But. Uh, yeah, I thought we I thought we did some good things. The sagging on the weak side, the knocking balls loose underneath. One of our goals was every loose ball we have to get. And I thought we got a lot of loose balls. We got a lot of loose balls that went on the ground. And Higgins, like I said, I'm sorry did a yeoman's job in that. So exciting, uh, you know. Like you say, you come out of a big win, and then, and then uh, during the press conference, my own friend from the Big Ten Network, <laughs> but at least you guys gave me until I got back here, and he made me answer a question. Ten minutes after the game. Who wants to think about eating? Mm -hmm. I do use to I do from now on. <laughs>